Hello everyone, it's your favorite FGC VTuber. So, as you guys can see by the title of this video, I mean, some of you might be new, welcome by the way. I'm Greatest Gamers are here. I'm going to be talking about probably one of the most underrated games, probably of this generation, except the other one, I forgot, it doesn't matter which one, but it's Kunitsu Path of the Goddess, I think, Path of the Goddess? Oh yeah, I remember. So, one of the first things off I would do want to talk about, we should probably address that what made me really spark the idea for this video was the fact that freaking people always scream about wanting a new game or, or 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 some shit like oh how come we don't get this oh that and we finally do get something new and nobody cares like i immediately saw like the amount of viewership we saw for like that shit for you know the trailer and i was like why is it so much smaller than say like street fighter or resident evil like, like it's super annoying the capcom thing said oh new ip and, and i get it but like to me it's like if you're the here's the best way to put it if you didn't even so much as care or try to support this game and you're the main person bitching we need new shit you're actually part of the problem. I, I can't stress that enough. Like, this is probably the first indie-style AAA game we've had in years. You know, in the style of, like, something like Okami, right? Granted, they're not the same kind of game. But, fucking, eh, I don't know. I just thought it was really annoying. I, I knew I was going to like it. But, like, as you guys can see, I beat the whole game, right? Absolutely love it. It's not perfect. I mean, some people say, like, oh, there's clear issues, right? Still, but the whole thing is giving something a chance. That's, that's not part of what really sparked this, but then actually just, I don't know. I feel like this is something I should really talk about. And... I guess you could start a call of review of sorts. I don't know what we'll call this, but it, it's just me talking about this game, really. And a good example, another one I want to bring up, there's a game, I don't know if I can think about it. It's like some futuristic mech soldier of war thing, right? And you just play as, like, the bitch. You're just a random dude scavenging whatever, and it's super unique and everything. And then in the comments, and dude even brought it up in his next video, he's saying that too many people are like, oh, imagine if you could play as a robot, or the mechs, or the soldiers. Like, no, that you defeat the purpose. See, this is the problem. People will look at something and be like, man, I wanted to play like God. It's like, fuck off, bro. Can all of you please play something else, bro? Like, that is genuinely the problem. Like, if you're the motherfucker out here buying the same shit, getting cucked and paying $70, you are part of the problem. I think that's one of the main things I really wanted to get off the bat with this. But as far as this actual game, I mean, yeah, I'm going to put game clip uh, clips up and everything. Uh, you guys can see a bit of the gameplay. But I guess now we'll transition. Like, that's all I was. It's not to, to something too long. We've already talked about it in the vibecast before. Feel free to check those out if you guys are interested in hearing me go off a long rants. But the whole thing with this game is... So what it is is an action uh, or a hack and slash -ish, sort of like real-time-ish strategy or, or tower defense. That's what they call it, right? Basically, so you are just a dude... You go around cutting shit up. You're defending a waifu, right? And we'll get to, to the story. Like, that's your whole point. That is what you're defending is the waifu. And then you can summon troops. And you can set them how you want. And you'll see in some of the clips that we're putting up that... There's... Other, the thing is, it's very different ways. If you played any kind of game where you're supposed to defend something, you see it, right? You can have it where you can have, like, a big guard. Spread yourself out. Different roles, you know, generally. But in Konimitsu, it seems that kind of rushing the entrance is a really good strat. To the point where again, you're actually in this clip as well, where you can have the waifu, then you, it's a bit risky, but you can still kind of rock it. And I found that I got to get a, in between of very slight defense, like almost like a last semi defense in a sense. And I, um, the good thing is, I, what I like in here is that it's real time and it, it stops when you use your troops. And like, like if I feel like I can't pay attention to the waifu, I put like one person to distract them, usually a long range one, and, and then I can move them around where I want. The only thing I will say that is annoying when defending the waifu is that. I feel like they don't like. I feel like this. I feel like this is to be three levels, like maybe a bit close, but like, like sometimes they'll be fine, right? Like if you go full defense, like they could be at a reasonable distance and they're not gonna do anything, and she'll be out here like, "Task it, like bro, you're fine, quit." Like you know, out here like I'll stop being in the front lines, right? Like one of the most things you could do is being in the front lines because then everyone's condensed there. You can get them in one go. But once they start getting spread out, it's a lot tougher. Like for you, it benefits a lot to be at the front line. Heck, there's even a super that lets you use your super and then teleport to the waifu as an emergency. Yeah, so dominant strategy is maybe painting one or two troops that can kind of thin some out. Like, past it, not right at the gate. That way, anyone that gets past you can just get to the gate, right? And then maybe have, like, a, a one guardish by the waifu. And, but at the end of the day, she, and it's only to slow them down, right? And to thin them out and get them ready. Because she'll let you know when they get close. And it's, it's, a, it's a fair distance. So I think it is definitely the lesser of two evils. But I can't just stress, like... I love the design of the levels. I love it. You know, obviously, I'm a huge weaver in Japanese. But I feel like it's a bit too same laney. There are some instances, especially like in the caves, right? Where like, oh, okay. And it even switches. It's not always going to be the same spot every time. So there's RNG, which I love. But I feel like to a certain degree, you can... There's a, I, I didn't change strategy all that much. And, and it becomes a remnant. Now we're going to switch over to the game, right? 
where only a, a, a handful of troops really fucking matter. And this is why I want to get, I think the game throws too much at you. When in reality, you don't, you don't really need all that much, if that makes sense. I, I, especially for the first one, I think they were trying to push too much. I, honestly, I think this game would have been fine with simply your, by the way, this is the first map, obviously. This is, uh, it would have been fine just like with your, your wood dude, right? Like your, your regular melee, the bow and arrow, uh, your, your priestess or your healer. I, I did find the, the monk fairly useful and it would have made sense. I think it thematically makes sense. I don't know what era this takes in the fact they even had the guns. But regardless, I feel like they were kind of, um, it should have stayed that way. I didn't really find a use. I mean, I guess it does. Maybe there is some higher level thing, but I didn't really find a use for the, the freaking, the, what do you call them? The ones that kind of dispel, like, uh, here's the best way to put it. At a certain point, there will be an enemy that basically, it, it, it enchants, right? It'll start saying some shit and it'll make all the enemies turn blue and it makes them faster and more aggressive right that that specific one's role is to make it so that they don't like it, it kind of dissipates it right and i almost never found a use for it because my whole thing is i'm better off trying to eliminate the dude doing that over spending an entire troop that's sole purpose is to just get rid of enchant like i was thinking well maybe later on and you know, i see in one point like okay he would have been totally useful in this point but that was it there was only like one real map where like it was kind of necessary but again like i said if you could just you know cut the snake at the head kind of thing it's less of a problem and it, i don't know if it gives them more health it probably does but you could just make your other troops much stronger and more defensive like i don't know i feel like that's one of the most pointless roles in this game another one that it was okay at first but it became less useful and i think still could be and i think part of like me could be part of the design or maybe i just didn't use him as well was the sumo uh like I, I like that his main role is to bring people's attention so they can come to them like see that one also kind of gets into the same role the other one like oh well whatever if they can go attack him he has a lot of health and he can take some of their health off and get them distracted why would you need the other one? One role that I think is super fucking cool, but mad niche, like it's more of a flex. I'm glad it's here. Is the that dude who just like he's the one shot. He he just one shots the entire fucking screen because fuck you, it's great. But by the time he gets that, it's the game's almost over. And at that point, I'm better off spending it on a different troop. Now the last troop is one of the most OPs. I won't break it because mini spoiler in a sense. But that one was like the one that made the most sense, and it was something that oh my god, if anything, I wish he had him earlier. He was just so useful. He, he kind of helped uh leave, leave a spot but yeah no no so as far as troops and the other thing is like i knew the woodcutter was going to be useless he immediately basically got re replaced by the spear guy by the way oh. yeah no no immediately got replaced by the spear guy now this is what i will say another thing is you guys might not know because so let's talk about troops right that's that's true so you have to be actually wishing there's a big reason why i am doing that so as you guys can see here like you can actually upgrade these things and you only have one and uh like i think two of these i could be mistaken but you go to your upgrades and right here as you guys can see i have everybody what people don't know is you can actually undo upgrades and i really like that feature in case people commit especially for like an rts in a sense i i think it's a really well welcome feature in this one especially but yeah like i only added one because i already had extra points but like the bow and arrow by the way i seen it was a super dominant i mean yes yeah, everybody let's be real when it comes to any kind of game like this investing into your range is always going to be the most important but because they literally introduced a cannon and a marksman i didn't see that much of the point of an archer like funny enough i thought the archer had more range than the can than the than this one but no apparently this guy has more range. i'm not sure but to me i'd rather invest in this guy because he does way more damage in a bigger area of effect and the special abilities to make it where if anyone goes where they shot there's damage and the marksman oh he's just he's just way further he's way further i mean like i said it's, I, I, I don't know. That's just my strategy. Like I said, have marksmen by the waifu, and they can actually still help in the front line. But again, that made me super useful because, and even then, I still use archers, right? But like I see, we got the, the shaman. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, he's super useful, especially for boss fights. And mind you, there's also boss fights, and you'll see some uh, clips here. You'll see me in the whole boss. These are completely different than. It's still in the same way, but you're actively fighting a boss. Now, as far as this whole game. Oh wait, I won't get into it too. Like yeah, there's a whole bunch. But as far as this whole game goes, like they, they say, you have your missions and you have your bosses. The hardest this game got, and I'll put the clip here, or clips, is the specific boss centipede thing. And, and this this is a motherfucker, but I absolutely love the gimmick where you're supposed to take out the lanterns to weaken it. And, and you can approach it however way you want, right? Like, we'll have all the clips and shit here. But yeah, no, this motherfucker was a bit of a bitch. Probably the hardest part of this game, honestly. But, yeah, no, no. I, 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 I thought it was a really fun uh, mission. But man, it, it was tough. Like, it was a toughie. There's other parts that can be a bit tough, but that was hands-on the probably the toughest part. And you'll meet it fairly early on, actually. 
But once you can get past that, I, there's nothing else in this game you can't beat, in my personal opinion. As far as the, the, the actual levels themselves, they definitely obviously get harder, right? Also, by the way, the Thief is a really weird one, but super useful. But yeah, no, that's, I think, it's, and again, it's a Capcom game, so the, this game is inherently going to be kind of difficult. That's why I should say, like, if, you can simplify it. That's the thing, and that's why I want to really get at what I was talking about earlier with this game, is that I feel like a lot of this wasn't necessary. Like I said, you could have caught half the troops, half of this crap, if I'm being honest. I didn't even invest in these two at all, and I don't think the game really incentivizes you. I, mean, I guess maybe it's an extra thing. This one made the most sense, and this one was a clear one, right? But as far as combos, the combat itself, it's like, what, square, square, triangle at best? That's all you really need. There isn't really much depth or much more to it. I mean, granted, your so focus is on how you strategize, which I absolutely love. But yeah, my best try, by the way, definitely invest in these. And then at least try to get yourself a bow and arrow. And this is where I do want to talk about some of the game's issues. I mean, well, we're still on that, right? But also, this perk tree straight up just doesn't work. It could just be me. Someone needs to tell me. I tried buying... I originally went with this perk and even this one. And I don't know if you can see some of the clips. You're supposed to hold it. You see how he's holding it? it you can't do that. It says right there, hold the L2. And like, I tap it, right? And, and I, I tried doing it. And no, he just still like does it. I, I, I rapid fire and it didn't even work. I even, again, I you can undo these as well. I undid it and did. I switched over to this one. And it, it actually got worse. My rate of fire got worse. So clearly this game was, was I feel like to a degree, this was kind of rushed. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like there's clearly passion and love put into this game. Absolutely. Like, probably one of the most loved games i would say you know because this game is not exo primal that game was a flop for several fucking reasons man absolutely several reasons this game should have popped off and i being honest i mean it's underrated capcom gym it feels like something that came out during the ps2 era as, as maximilian said but yeah as far as i know this thing straight up just doesn't work and i don't see an incentive to use these two at all if i'm being honest i mean maybe you gotta just play this a lot more if i'm being honest i, I could just be nice like i said I only beat it one time and I don't know if you're you're allowed to say that much. I mean, at the end of the day, when I eventually full 100, I, you guys could see my follow up at some point. But I got a lot of shit I gotta do. I just wanted to beat this, get this out the way, have fun, and you know, I feel like this is definitely. I definitely wanted to almost immediately do new game plus right away, right? But uh, like I said, I got a lot of other shit to do, and, and this is definitely you know uh, more people are like me with a one and done kind of shit. And oh, same way you guys seen on the right side. You are just better off investing into the those key things because they're super fucking useful. Because there's a lot of things, yeah, yeah. And even it's a balance, right? You focus on yourself a little bit, and the troops. Oh, like I said, it could have been just less bloated. Is, is the best way I put it. You know what I'm saying? I would have focused that there was less shit, like just the arrows. Focus on making that work. Only those three, because I I feel like another problem with the game again. There's too many. I mean, I get it. For these kinds of games, you need menus, but there's too much menus, and also freaking like I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it would have been done focus. This is why you can't bloat stuff, right? I, we could have done half the troops, half as much crap. And it would have been easier to even focus on the combat, even though I think the combat is perfectly fine, if I'm being honest. Uh, like I said, there's all... By the way, this I beat this, the like, the run I did was about 16 hours when I last streamed it. And I think I streamed for four-ish hours. So this game, you can beat it around 20, 24 hours, actually. Mind you, I, as you guys can see, when it comes to your base, oh, you can do your base stuff. And then there's a side objectives, and then I'm trying to collect those treasure chests i guess that's a semi complaint i will say another one the way the level structure works okay you beat this you go beat that you go beat this you know and then it's your boss fight in between but then you're like oh you have to, what you do is go into the base you set people to repair and the way you repair is you you give them a task then you leave and do a mission and then you come back and then confirm that they did the task and then you do a new one in case because i was curious i thought you had to have past time i made the mistake of doing that and the first times it's oh, okay right and, and you could read what you do is oh let me replay the level see what i didn't get and then you go back oh you get the base right but once you get past the halfway point over here it becomes a little bit tedious because then you're like oh okay let me get this stuff oh and let me redo the mission again and by the way you can actually if you, if you don't know i do like that you can get these your first time so my whole thing is eventually if you say you do get it like your first time you go to base well now you have to redo missions just for the fuck of it which i mean to be honest they're pretty fun but i feel like there's not as much of a point to redo them and, and at a certain point i didn't I, I got tired of doing the same mission like more than three times just so I could pass time to, to let the repairs go through. But then at the same time, like, if you're doing that good, because you, 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 you doing these gets you, like, those, they'll see those 10 thing. That's what you use to upgrade you and or your troops, right? I have 45 right there. And I make sure, because I, I like trying to fulfill as much as possible and be super ready. And it came, like, by, it came to this point, like, in this mission, like, so I saw my probably one of the harder ones. Super fucking useful, right? And going through, you know, up here, 
you know, it, it did basically kind of make it a bit of a cakewalk. So you don't have to. If you really want to, you can just linearly go through. Maybe, oh, go to make Again, make sure you go to base or oh, whatever. And maybe only go if it's something, you know, super useful. Like, I would say maybe at best you said, oh, go, go. Like, say, do most of this halfway through one run. I mean, it helps because it, it'll be super tough. I, I feel like because I did this route, it wasn't as tough, right? I, I would say once you get here, that's when it starts to get a bit tough. Then, okay, cool. Base play you know but obviously you always go to base right but what i'm saying is oh okay you know you maybe or may or may not beat this but that's what and it made sense for me that's when i started going okay yeah let's get the objectives get all the base stuff objectives get all the base stuff and i would basically i by the time i would beat one two three like this it, it would be, i would be on this mission these would be all done with all their base stuff right like you see it's not it's not a lot and this one was almost basically done. And like, okay, cool. And this one has way more. So I was like, okay, I would still do the same strat. This would be done. We got, let's say, two base things done. And oh, mission, base, mission, base. You know, then maybe redo a mission here or there. Base, base. But no, once I got down here, right around this part, these were pretty much done. Like, I only went back for base. I didn't redo missions. I did this one, like, maybe one more time. But at least I would do these missions. And see, I haven't even done this one. Yeah, no, once I got to this point, see, this was funny. Let that sink in. This was one of the old last ones I, I did even one last time. And I was like, yeah, I'm tired of redoing missions. And, and some of them are really complex. You know what I mean? Like, I barely still know what the spell enchantment and some of this shit. Like, it's just too much crap. That's what I want to say. It's like, nah, bro. Adding too much shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm not redoing this. Like, unless I had something like, oh, see, this one received no damage. I did it. And, and I focused on getting that one thing, you know, because like I said, I'd be in these parts. And like, oh, okay, cool. I want to make sure. Because like I said, because of this, uh, I think I definitely made the game easier for me because of the fact that I was fully well upgraded by why wouldn't I right the thing is if someone a developer said if you can take the fun out of something gamers just will and at the end of the day it's a strategy game of course I'm gonna strategize and be optimal and at the end of the day it does bother me like whoa 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 whoa, no damage and I even thought okay let me get the main thing out the way so then I don't have to focus on the other two right and because again the counter skill I counter attack skill I still have no idea what the hell that is I do there's a parry and I knew how to use that I don't know if I'm supposed to parry press triangle like I still don't know you know I was super over focused on what's happening in front of me. But again, like I said, that's why I feel like the game has definitely a lot of replayability. And I hopefully I don't know what new game plus is, but I what I'm gonna personally do is get all these challenges out the way and then do new game plus. And I'm curious if new game plus just resets everything. Right? Oh, by the way, and when you're done with the the base, it, you'll see it's all glowing and it's got the little the little papers and shit. And yeah, I got everything done. But yeah, as you can see, basically most of these missions, I for sure only replayed one more time and i focused on simple things like oh don't get hit or fucking you know just don't let the wife get damaged or some shit but like everything else i'm like yeah no i don't even know what the hell's going on i, I at that point i kind of just genuinely wanted to beat the game you know and so i thought that was an easy path like i i beat every i rebeat every mission at least once and that's more than enough time to get all the base shit right like yeah so i was never behind more than three but yeah no no that's, a, that's another good pattern um it's also, I mean, okay, another cool thing is the enemy design is absolutely great. The graphics are nice as fuck, and the game run fairly pretty good. I, I had, I played on graphic mode a bit, but uh, I think it runs at 30, and it was fairly okay, but it, it, it plays pretty, I'll give it this. It plays decently for 30, but for me, like, because I'm so used to 60 and 120, I was like, yeah, no, 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 I'm gonna, g I'm gonna go ahead and go to 60, but yeah, I think probably one of the more, more playable 30 and it played pretty clean. I feel like there's only some noticeable weird resolution shit going on at 60, but it doesn't feel that drastically different. I mean, like if anything, frame rate over graphics, right? Graphically, I don't think that's their back bad that big of a difference. From what I can tell, honestly, it feels like it plays at 1440p at, at, at graphic and 1080 at FPS. So, and especially when things are moving, you don't even really notice. Plus, what matters more is that it feels good. Who knows? Because at the end of the day, maybe the visuals might give you a headache. I would say put it in performance mode. Um, But yeah, as far as that goes, I can't think of anything else I really want to say about this game outside of that. Like, it's fun. At the end of the day, it's a super good game. And I do get that to a degree it's not for everybody, right? Maybe you're not super attacking games, but I'm like, who's not? Maybe you don't really like the premise, which... I mean, I personally think it's weird. I think it's great. You know, maybe you're not as big of a weeb as me. That's what it could be. But then the final one's like, to me, the, one, the main one that sticks out is like, oh, maybe some people aren't really a big fan of, like, strategy or or tower defense kind of shit in which case that's kind of fair like that one i think this is the main reason people would like i don't know i'm just super upset that people wouldn't even bother to give this a chance like it's a goddamn game pass that's why i'm playing this shit you know i was so glad i mean i, I right now like I, said, I get it i think part of the problem is that money is fucking tight as shit so people gotta be really picky and this game 
interesting, right? Like, for sure, maybe people pick it on sale. Some shit, we'll see. Maybe that's how that things pick up. But I saw the interest in this game was already low. Like I said, just looking at the trailers for it, it was like, wow, this is this is sad. You know, like, it's a sad state for the gaming community kind of shit. But, yeah, no, I mean, actually, I think I... I yeah, I, I went on... For a decent amount of time but that's just my overall thoughts on this this fucking game uh not super i mean the thing is i play a lot of shit so I, difficulty wise you know for me i can't i can i can't really i'm not the best vessel for that i mean come on dude i got like five fucking master ranks in street fighter and i played rpg fucking not rpg well yeah rpgs too but obviously strategy games like a motherfucker well not like a motherfucker i, I need to play more like i play halo wars and shit like that right but it's definitely a challenge for sure. I think if you're already used to this kind of thing, it won't be much of a challenge to you here for the gimmick. But if you're not used to this kind of thing, I don't think it's the best entry point for one of these things. So definitely, like I, I even I knew when I came into this, I had to make sure I had a clear day. I'm, I I I ate, I slept well, and my mind is ready. Like it's just because, like I said, I don't think the game does a good enough job of really easing you or teaching you into into this kind of game or what it is. And like I said, I think it's personally a little bit too bloated, too many troops. And too much shit. Because like I said, when I first looked at the table, like I think it's great. But I was confused. I'm like, what the fuck does any of this mean? I, I wish the game would have slowly, like, instead of giving me this whole table, like, oh, let's have the base. And then, ah, uh, it sets it like, oh, this is where your charm is. I feel like that would have been, like, each new segment where, like, would add a new component to the table. And even if it does do text, like, you know, like, oh, so that's what this is. This is the super. And then, like, oh, this makes it so my troops have more health. And, like, you know, it's something more tangible. Like, a lot more. They could have, literally, look at how much more this is. They could have paced out. A lot of the subtle elements a lot more because by the end over here they don't really introduce you much more new shit outside of a new troop you know but yeah no that's just my overall thoughts on on path of the goddess i think super fucking good game mad underrated but clearly it has its issues and most importantly like i said the bow and arrow not fucking working is my number one biggest issue like why the fuck do you dead ass not work bro like that is an actual problem it could just be me but it shouldn't have to be where i get the and it just it should work it should just work you know as a loser todd howard says but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy whatever the hell will enable this on of its of review i mean it's definitely thoughts more than anything but yeah remember feel free to like or not even like feel free to definitely leave your comments below like if you want to don't subscribe that's how i do it uh you know if i'm good enough you'll keep seeing me on your feed then you subscribe right that's how this works that's why i'm not a fan of that oh subscribe, man. fuck that shit i hate that shit <laughs> man oh i should have had my chibi oh man well whatever you guys got vibing now so that'll that'll make up for it. i'm not here i was saying fgc vtuber don't even have the chibi but yeah hope you guys enjoy this i didn't take too long yeah. man you know i thought i would have had more to say if i'm being honest but no that, that kind of wraps up my thoughts on this game but yeah i highly recommend it if you're if it's on game pass there's no excuse to not try out this fucking game but there you go at least with this you guys have an idea of what you're getting yourself into it's it, and the thing is i will say this lastly is that it, it, once you get past the first couple of hurdles like man it, it's kind of addicting i ain't gonna bullshit like you really have that urge to just really want to complete this game and, and you know what at the end the story really honestly for as simple as it was it paid off i think they they, they did an amazing premise and simple execution well done